Well, hello from our nation's capital, and let me tell you, it was a busy second full day of cap to cap. Attendees met with members of Congress and other high-profile government officials, all to address key issues we face back home. Kicking off the day with applause, more than 420 business and political leaders from California's capital region now in Washington, D.C. for the 52nd annual Capital to Capital Advocacy Conference, also known as Cap to Cap. Organized by the Sacramento Metropolitan Chamber of Commerce, the four-day event includes more than 170 meetings with influential government leaders, all with the end goal to secure billions of dollars in federal funding for back home. This is the place to be. Let's invent the future. Addressing the delegation, Sacramento Congress member Ami Berra spoke about the need for economic development. During a one-on-one -on -one interview, he said that must include a push to ensure money from the $1.2 trillion bipartisan infrastructure law of 2021 continues to fund local projects for bridges, roadways, and green technology. Those federal dollars, we want to make sure we bring those back to California, bring them back to Sacramento, to L.A., to San Diego. And as they think of those cities, cap to cap attendees are asking for more federal resources to help with an issue in communities and on sidewalks like this one across the state, the issue of homelessness. We're in an urgent all-in need to address this issue. Lisa Bates is the CEO of Sacramento Steps Forward, a nonprofit organization working to get resources to people experiencing homelessness. She's pushing members of Congress to extend tax credits for low-income at-risk families and for tax credits to incentivize the creation of more affordable housing. Housing with services are absolutely uh, instrumental in a able to, to move people out permanently out of homelessness. In total, the conference includes 13 policy groups, each focused on a different issue from flood protection to education to food and agriculture. Also included, the issue of public safety and specifically a plea for help to address retail theft. This is devastating. I mean, this could literally bankrupt a business. You know, they're severely impacted. We, we see that every single day and the cost that we have to pay for different goods and services. Why are businesses leaving Oakland, San Francisco? Why are they leaving San Diego? Why are they leaving California? Because of the retail theft crisis. And it needs to be addressed. And speaking of public safety, as we approach the summer months, attendees are seeking additional federal resources to help with forest management and fire protection. The threat of wildfire is significant. Alice Dowden Calvillo is a council member in the city of Auburn, a city nestled in the foothills of the Sierra Nevada. She says it's crucial for the federal government to do its part in a state where it owns more than half of public forested lands. It's important that we continue to maintain that partnership that we have with the federal government to work collaboratively with them to ensure these lands are resilient resilient to help make sure that we're out in front of and ready to respond when the emergency happens. And looking ahead to Tuesday, attendees will hear directly from Sacramento Congress member Doris Matsui as she engages in conversation with Steve Case. He's an entrepreneur and co-founder of AOL. Be sure to stick with us as we have full coverage from our nation's capital. Reporting from Washington, D.C., covering local news that matters, Aton Wallace, Fox 40 News.